I've spoken to so many people who've reverted to Islam and they say to come out of that comfort zone and enter the fold of what is right is absolutely difficult because sometimes you lose your family members, you lose so many, you embrace Islam, they look at you as a spy sometimes and they don't even want to mix and interact with you. You cannot even get married because they look at you with an eye of suspicion. So how difficult it must be for those who revert to Islam. This is why I spend a moment to say my brothers, my sisters, those who's re who've reverted to Islam against all odds, learn to embrace them. Learn to understand they are your brothers and sisters who have made a decision that is perhaps the most difficult decision and definitely the most important decision, not only in their lives, but regarding their hereafter as well. So let's embrace them. Let's make it easy for them. Let's educate them. Let's help them. Let's try and bring them within if they would like to get married and they are both parties happy facilitate it for them. I know of families, and it's very sad to say this, but it's important, it's, a, it's the correct platform to say it. I know of families whereby the boy and girl want to get married, but because one of them is a revert, they say, no, revert. Brother, a revert is cleaner than you, who was a born Muslim, because when he accepted Islam, he started a new slate at the age of 25, 30. Yours is dirty from the time you started all your business. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. So what's wrong? Let's not be racist. Let's not be people who look at others with the eye of suspicion. For what? If they have reverted to Islam for as long as they've proven that they are decent Muslimin, Alhamdulillah. Here is the Prophet ﷺ. We are not just mere Twitter followers. No, we follow him correctly. When he says, when someone proposes for your child and the level of their deen is good and their level of character is good, let it happen. If you don't let it happen, there's going to be fitna, there's going to be chaos, there's going to be fasad on earth. In your little life, your family will turn upside down. Why? You blocked something that the messenger instructed you not to block. That's where the problem is. We are guilty of this. In our societies, as much as we say we're not racist, sadly, it raises its ugly head now and again. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Take a look at the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. Who was better, we or them? They were far better. They were all reverts, by the way. Allahu Akbar. All of them. So congratulations to those who's re who've reverted here on their own accord. You have joined the ranks of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum in one aspect of your living and in one aspect of your deen. That's a tough one. Which means if a Sahabi had to come and ask for your daughter, what would you say? Revert. I don't want to go as far as that, but I could have in order to make you think. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help those young boys and girls suffering at the hands of their own parents because their parents are being ridiculous. They don't realize what's going on behind the scenes and they just want to stick up to their pride. What will people say? My brother, what will Allah say? What will the messenger say? What type of an embarrassment are you going to be for yourself on the day of judgment when you have encouraged sin and you have discouraged that which was halal just because you had an arrogance? What will my family say? Your family is not worried about you. You lead the way, my brother. My sister, lead the way. They will follow you. They also have children in the same boat. Each one is saying, what will our family say? If you led the way, they'll say, mashallah, you know, we've been struggling for the last two years in the same way. Now that we saw what you did, we're going to do the same. Subhanallah, you led the way. You lead the way to Jannah as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us Jannah al-Firdaus.